With October coming to a close and November coming right around the corner, it is that time to give you guys our top 5 most anticipated movies of a month. This time being November of 2016. Now before we go on, I just want to establish some ground rules. Just like the previous top five, these are the films you're looking forward to the most, not reviews of the films. If the films that you're looking forward to are not on this list, I do apologize, but this is our list. Besides the point, let's get into the top five, but before we even do that, we do have some honorable mentions for you guys. Okay, so first of all, we have Bad Santa 2, the sequel to Bad Santa that came out, what, over a decade ago, I think? Yeah, right there. Next up is Bleed for this. Then the animation, Moana. And next up is the Oscar buzz film, Manchester by the Sea. Alrighty, now that we've gone through those, let's get into the top five most anticipated films of November 2016 in our opinion. Let's get started. Alright, starting out the top five, we have Ally. This is directed by Robert Zemeckis. And if you've never heard of this guy, Seriously? I mean, Bash the Future, Forrest Gump, Cast Away. It's starring Brad Pitt and Marion Cotillard as two assassins who fall in love while carrying out a mission, and it turns out that Marion Cotillard just might be a spy. I didn't hear anything of this until I think a few weeks back. I love those cat and mouse movies, I love mysteries, I love thrillers, and this is a different type of thriller from what it seems like here. It's Robert Zemeckis. He's the main reason why I want to see this. It's Robert Zemeckis. I mean, if you've seen his films, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, Allied, number five. Coming number four is Hacksaw Ridge. This is directed by Mel Gibson of Braveheart fame. And that's a film I have not seen. I know. Don't kill me, please. And this is also starring Andrew Garfield as a pacifist who refused, and I mean absolutely refused, to bring guns onto the battlefield. And as a result, he got the Medal of Valor or Medal of Honor. And he saved the lives of, I believe, 75 men without firing a single shot. Mel Gibson, say what you will about him in his personal life, but the guy knows how to make a film. But Hacksaw Ridge just looks like a compelling and riveting war thriller about a guy who does does not fire a single shot and I love Andrew Garfield. I loved what he brought to the Spider-Man movies that he was in. Yes, Hacksaw Ridge, I'm hoping it's amazing and I've been hearing good things about it so far. Actually, not good, I've been hearing great things about it. Yeah, Hacksaw Ridge, number four. Coming at number three, we go back into the Wizarding World with Fantastic Beasts and War to Find Him. This is directed by David Yates, who directed the last four Harry Potter films. But I will say though, this film looks great. It takes place years before the Harry Potter films took place. I love what David Yates did with the Harry Potter franchise, and this is also J.K. Rowling's first screenplay, who, if you didn't know this already, she's pretty much the reason why we have the Harry Potter books in the first place and the films. But nonetheless, I cannot wait to go see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I hope it is the return to the Harry Potter universe I am hoping for, and if not, hopefully it's still an entertaining movie, nonetheless. Coming in number two is the sci-fi film Arrival, and this is directed by Denis Villeneuve, I believe I pronounced his name correctly, who directed Prisoners and one of my favorite films of last year, Sicario. This follows Amy Adams as a translator who's pretty much like one of the best in the world, as she has been tasked with translating languages from aliens, it looks like, and this film looks amazing. I've been hearing nothing but phenomenal buzz. I'm hearing that it's one of the best films of the year, if not the best. I have been looking forward to this film for quite some time. I'm a big fan of Denis Villeneuve. I love Prisoners. I abs like I said, I love Sicario. And he's directing the Blade Runner sequel. This film just looks like a great sci-fi film in the vein of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And that's another film I have not seen. But no, honestly, Arrival looks amazing. And that is why it's my number two. 
And coming at number one is the film I have been waiting for ever since it was announced just last year, or I think even two years ago. But finally it's coming out, and that is Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange. I have been dying to see this movie. As a matter of fact, I can't really push the camera because I don't have a cinematographer on me. But just right there where I'm pointing to, my hand's probably off screen right now, I have a Doctor Strange poster. I'm a huge fan of Ben and Cumberbatch, but as they say, a Cumberbatch fan is called a Cumberbatch. Just stamp it right there. I am one of those people. I'm a fan of, especially of the director Scott Derrickson, who has directed such films as Sinister, one of my favorite horror films of the decade, and Christmas of Emily Rose, and also a very underrated horror film called Deliver Us from Evil. I'm not a like fanboy of Doctor Strange, but I know just enough of his character to be excited. This film looks like a combination of a superhero film meets Inception, and a for those of you who don't want to be watching Flick Direct, Inception is one of my all-time favorite films, and this looks like it has that trippy vibe. The visual effects look outstanding. I just, I cannot wait to see this movie, seriously. I'm expecting a trippy movie, and Doctor Strange looks like it's gonna deliver on that. And plus, the early buzz on this film has been amazing so far. Doctor Strange looks like it's gonna be an amazing time in the movies, a very trippy time in the movies. But no, with all that said, that is why Doctor Strange is my most anticipated movie of November 2016. And that does it for this month's top five video. Please comment out and let us know below what are your top five most anticipated movies in November 2016. Again, my apologies if your films are not on here, but these are the films I am just dying to see this month. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like this video. It helps us out a lot. Share this video with your pals and subscribe to Flick Direct as we do videos every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and the 28th of every month. And until the 28th of November, we will see you guys next month. See you guys next time.